Welcome back to Bean Energy. What I want to say real quick is this is not a battery build video, but I'm going to show off a battery that I built. That works, right? There are some other battery build videos on my channel. I can show putting together a BMS on a big old battery, building some batteries, so check those out. But this one is a really simple battery to build. This cost $288 all in. Bought the batteries in Alibaba, bought everything else on Amazon. Maybe took me an hour or two to drill holes in the case, build the battery, put the BMS on the battery, all ready to charge up and test. This is an 840 watt hour battery. It is a 12 volt nominal. These are Life Po4 or lithium iron phosphate batteries, so nice and safe. It is four cells in series. It has a DALI BMS in it to make sure that things stay safe. Rated at 60 amps. Battleborn batteries are about 1200 watt hours and they're rated at 100 amps. So I figured this is about right on the BMS for an 840 watt hour battery. So I've got these handy little screw terminals for putting your connections on, no big deal there. And then we've got our voltage readout is really just basing capacity off of the voltage and you get to go in here and determine what's the high voltage what's the low voltage so if you had a lead acid battery versus a lithium iron phosphate versus a lithium ion um, and it'll kind of adjust to that so i think i've got this one set to like 13.3 or 13.4 as the high voltage and that gets me my percentage this will also give me my temperature 21 celsius inside the case I also have a temperature probe on the DALI BMS, which will cut out for high temperature and it'll cut out for low temperature. So anything under negative seven Fahrenheit. So that should help protect from charging in super cold weather. Something else I did was I went ahead and put some foam inside the battery. So first of all, to provide a little bit of compression for the cells because they typically appreciate that being prismatic cells. But also, if this is in a cold environment, that will help keep the battery from getting too cold. I've got the, the BMS um, smothered right here up against the case of the, the ammo box. That way, with insulation between it and the battery, that way, even when it gets hot, it's not heating up the battery so much. Hopefully it's heat sinking out through the plastic, which isn't a great heat sink, and does more venting outside the case than it does making the battery hot. I've got 10 gauge wire running on this battery. Being the short runs that it is within the battery, I think it'll work fine for this. The use case here is for a 600 watt inverter, which should be max 50 amps. That shouldn't be too bad. I think if I was to do it again, I'd probably up the gauge, especially if I want to do that full 60 amps off the BMS. That's really all there is to it. It's a $288 battery with 840 watt hours. That comes out to like 34 cents a watt. And it was super simple to put together. You don't have to do a bunch of soldering. There's a little bit of soldering involved. I've got the parts list down below if you want to look at how I bought everything. It was Alibaba, not AliExpress which makes it a little more interesting for purchasing because with this seller, you basically go in, you say what you want, you click order, and then you have to get in chat with the seller, determine you know how much shipping is going to be, whatnot. Because really, the, so the batteries on this were $218, I think it was. Um, that was only like 80 bucks for the batteries, and then the rest was shipping. If you're willing to do uh, sea shipping instead of air shipping, you might be able to get that lower. I'm trying that now with some larger batteries and the shipping for four 240 amp hour batteries as well as four 100 amp hour batteries. So the whole lot is gonna be like 150 bucks to ship from China over sea instead of air. And that's gonna take like 30 to 45 days to get here. This one is 70 amp hour batteries, so much smaller and only one set of them. And it costs 120, 140 bucks to ship over air. That was definitely a huge part of the cost. If you can find something like this locally, it actually might not be much more expensive than buying from China just because of that shipping. Batteries are heavy. That's how that works. Batteryhookup.com is also a really great place. I'll put a link down below if you can find some batteries from there. The great thing about these cells is that they're so easy, right? It's just one big prismatic cell with bolts on top. You don't have to deal with soldering or with wires that are already there. So it's really nice that way. Just a, a quick review of this battery. I actually built this for a customer and I'm gonna be selling it, but I wanted to show you what it was 
and how well it worked. I did do some capacity tests and there is about 65, 70 amp hours that I could pull out of this before I hit low voltage on any of the cells from the BMS and they were all pretty well balanced. When you charge the cells, they would all stay in pretty good balance and then when you would hit the very top of the capacity of the cell, that's when the cells would start being unbalanced. I think that's fairly normal. So what I did with these is I went ahead and hooked them up to my SkyRC B6AC chargers. Um, one of these guys here. And I charged each of the cells up completely with that. And then I hooked up the BMS and cycled the batteries and that worked pretty well. That way they are top balanced. And with the BMS, it's gonna try and keep them top balanced. So every time you charge them, the BMS will balance them out just a little bit more to try to keep them in line. If there's some questions that I didn't answer, feel free to throw those down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time on the next fun project.